Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. If this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, thank you for stopping by. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, thank you for coming back. It really means a lot. So before we get started, I just want to say a long time no see. Um, it's currently the 24th of April while I'm filming this and it should be going up today. Um, I've had COVID, so... <laughs> I yeah spent days in bed, couldn't do anything. So if I sound a bit strange, um, it's because I've still got like a cold and a blocked nose and everything. So there isn't too much spending being done in the past two weeks because I've not really gone anywhere. So today's video is going to be my weekly check-in for the third and fourth week of April. So let's get started. Oh, let's start with my incomes. So on the 14th, I did get paid from my monthly income job. So normally I get paid on the 18th, um, but with the um, with Easter, we got paid a little bit early. And then I got my reimbursement for my work phone on that day as well. And then on the 18th, I got paid £4.20 and pence from my weekly job, even though I wasn't working for this week and last week and this week. Um, I Yeah, so £4.20, it's happened before. Um, it's something to do with, yeah, the tax allowance. I'm not sure, but that is that. Moving on now to my cash envelope stuffings so i did stuff on bear with me so because i'm getting confused right i took money from my net this year no pay on the 11th but i didn't stuff it because I wasn't well so but I do have that money to one side um so my next video will be me stuffing that money from my monthly income job I did stuff 50 pound into my digital spend digital spending money sorry my brain's a bit like trying to comprehend what I'm doing and then on the 18th then I took another £50 out of my this year no pay um, and again I've not stuffed that yet um, that'll be in the next video On the 14th, I did put £100 into my savings from my monthly income job. I did put £100 into my car bills savings. And I put £70 into miscellaneous sinking funds. So, these are my sinking fund spendings so i did take 50 pound out of my this year no pay on the 11th and i did take 50 pound out of my this year no pay on the 18th and it will be the same next monday on the 25th so what i think i will do is i'll do a three week cash stuffing retrospectively um i could just put that 100 pound into my sinking funds um, because it is to the side I've not stuffed it but um, yeah I might want some more spending money for the last weekend of the month I will do my only um, sinking fund spend next and that was on the 16th and I did spend some of my digital spending money £27.40 and that was the only yeah, cash envelope spend that I did Moving on now to bills. So on the 12th, 
my Barclays went out, which is my loan that I took out to get my phone, which I will have finished paying off in December. On the 13th, my iCloud bill came out for 79 pence. As well as my Netflix bill for 5.99. On the 14th as well, I did pay off my final credit card payment for £479.79. So my credit card is now completely paid off, which is amazing. Like I'm, yeah, work so hard to pay off and I'm so grateful that I've been in a position to pay off huge chunks of my pay every month. So now that that is completely paid off, um, yeah, there'll be no more unnecessary spending on my credit card. So then on the 18th, yeah, Disney Plus went out on the 18th. And then Amazon Prime went out on the 19th. So it's been quite a quiet month. So, or two weeks. I can now put in my payday stickers. So I got paid £4.20 on the 18th. And I got paid my monthly pay on the 14th, which... going to stick there and I'm going to draw a little arrow and then I'm going to put 14th there <laughs> and now moving on to my no spends so we had a no spend on the 11th Pretty much every day apart from Saturday is a no spend, which is really good. It's just a bit that it took me getting COVID in order to not spend any money. <laughs> Although I've not had COVID for the whole two weeks. Um, but yeah, because it's I've not been doing my weekly income job, uh, my weekly job yet. Um, I've not really been going anywhere, so I've not had the need to spend any money. <laughs> I need to move my Lemsip <laughs> to grab my another sheet from my drawer here. And I am too lazy and have no brain power in order to cut the video and then have to edit them together. So apologies for that. So we have loads and loads of <laughs> no spend days. Which is amazing. I can't believe it. That is incredible. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No spend days. So in the past two weeks, I've only have what I've only had one day where I've spent something, which is, yeah, really good. Really happy with that. So I'm going to move on to just writing out my totals. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I've put my um, ring light on the opposite side because when it's over here and when I'm writing, it gives a shadow. So hopefully this is a bit better. So week two, the 11th to the 17th, my income was £1,105.81. I saved £270. My bills were £518.82, that's with including my credit card payoff. Cash envelope spending was £27.40. I spent nothing in buffer or unbudgeted and I spent £50 from my, or I took £50 from my sinking funds. 
moving on up here to the third week my income was four pound and 20 pence i didn't put anything into my savings my bills were 15 pound and 98 pence i did no cash envelope spending no buffer unbudgeted spending and again i took 50 pound out of my this year no pay sinking fund I'm going to, there we go, zoom me back out and flip to my, actually, I'm not going to fill that out because I'm going to tackle that in my next video when I have a bit more brain power and I'm actually stuffing the past two, well, three weeks. So that is yeah april almost over i can't believe it i don't know where on earth the month has gone um i'm happy that i have so much no spend days and i'm so so happy that i was able to fully pay off my credit card this month so for a fact i know that i've reached my 15 no spend days and i've paid off my credit card um so i know for a fact i've hit two of my goals this month we will see about my savings. I don't think I will quite hit that because of the um, of the holidays from my weekly income job. But thank you so much for watching um, and sticking with me while I've not been um, posting anything for the past two weeks. If you did enjoy, please consider hitting that like button below. And if you want to keep up to date with my budgeting journey, please consider subscribing as well. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Bye.